Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate drum software outputs in Reaper. So our project in front of me here, which is a MIDI track going into Easy Drummer. Some drum software I put right here. Now what we do in this video is going to work for any instrument. I'm just using this one as an example. So let's play what we have. It sounds pretty good, but all the sounds are coming out of this main track. I want to separate each drum so I could process them separately. Maybe compress them, EQ them, so I could really dig in and mix them. So to do this, we'll open the plugin back up so we can see the section over here. Now what we're doing here is going to work with any plugin that has multiple outputs. So if I go to Add, under Instruments, any of the plugins here like this one or this one, that say multiple outputs, eight out, 16 out, 64 out. What we're doing here is gonna work with any of those. But we're gonna do it with Easy Drummer. So we're gonna right click right on the plugin and go down to build multi-channel routing for output of the selected effect. Now we don't wanna do this just yet. We need to adjust something in this plugin. And again, this is going to be different for every plugin, but for this one, it has its own mixer. And we can adjust the level of each drum here, but we can't add effects or processing to each track. That's why we're separating them. So we have to go over here under output and give each drum its own output. So I'm going to keep kick on one, on snare, we'll make it two, the bottom snare will also make it two. So they're going to combine on one track. But we could separate them. We'll make this track three, our toms. We'll give each one of them their own track. And the overheads and the rooms will get their own tracks. So now go back up here and right click it again. And now we can choose this option. And if we choose it, it's going to create all these tracks where it's going to separate each drum to their own track. Again, it's going to be different for every plugin, but the basic concept is the same. So if we hit yes, and Reaper created all these tracks down here. Now, if you want to see the routing, we can go up here to this track, and we can see what happened here. It takes it out of the master parent send, so we're no longer hearing the audio from here. So we bring the fader down, nothing happens. All the audio is now coming from these tracks. It also created sends for each one of them, right here. So now we can name each track based on what they're playing. So this is our kick, our snare, or snares, the hi hat, tom one, tom two, and tom three. Then we have the overheads, and finally the room, or the rooms. So if we saw each one of them, we should just hear those drums. A snare, a hi-hat, the toms, the overheads, and finally, the rooms. So now we can mix them in Reaper's mixer. We'll start with our kick. Now we could also it affects or process each drum completely separately. So if we want to EQ the kick, 
Just go right here and we can add EQ to the kick. Or the snare. Or we can compress our room tracks to make them sound bigger. And mix it all back in. And that's pretty much it. That's separating drum software outputs in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!